Um, hi everyone, so uh, my name is Julia Robinson and I'm the Assistant Librarian for the Science, Agriculture and Engineering Faculty um, here at Newcastle University Library. Um, what I'd like to do today is a more of a, an interactive thing, is to um, show you in person how um, a technique, a method I've used in the past for um, discussing search strategies, um, usually with undergraduate students, but you can use it with any, any stage really. Um, the idea is um, that this just shows them how to think about how to develop a search strategy before they start answering a question, how to unpick the question they have in front of them um, and just show them the importance of thinking about keywords. So. Um, this is not a, a brilliant essay title, but uh, imagine this is a, um, your important essay title. Um, I would get them to take the essay title and break it down into keywords. So I've just underlined the keywords here, key phrases. Um, what I'd like you to do in your groups is with the genius pads that you have in front of you, the big giant post-it notes, um, I'm going to give you, I think, 40 seconds, um, <laughs> maybe in the two minute thing. Uh, you would normally give a bit longer, but obviously there's a two minute uh, gap here. Um, 40 seconds to pick a, a word on here, um, and I don't mind if maybe this half of the room do impact and renewable fuels, and this half of the room do um, sustainability in UK. Um, and in your groups or in pairs or however we, you want to split it, you might want to just assign a scribe. Um, I just want you to stream of consciousness, write down as many different alternative ways of saying that word or that phrase or all the different nuances, um, different spellings, different endings, if you want narrower terms, broader terms, anything you can think of in that 40 seconds um, and then I'll collect them in at the end. So if I, if you want to grab your genius pads and a, and a pen. Okay. Maybe give people. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all right. I'll just um, I'll, I'll wrap it up a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is everybody ready? Okay. Um, you've got thirty seconds. No, forty seconds. Sorry. Starting now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it, that's 40 seconds up, um, so if you want to just finish the last word you were writing, um, and I'll just collect these in from you, okay, so you tackled renewable fuels, let's put that on there, um, Sustainability. <laughs> so I'll just put these on here so you can see. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's great. Um, so what I would now do with the students is, hopefully like this, you've got a long list of various alternatives, all different kinds of things, even just UK can be, um, you know, narrower and broader terms to bring it out to this. All the different type of fuels, all the different elements of sustainability, all the different types of ways of saying impact and, and emphasis, solution, all of those things. Now if we can come up with this many alternatives in this room, um, within this little group, we just need to think about then how many alternatives would be out there in the wider academic community. So within this little group, if we can come up with this, 
um, and all the number of terms here. Just think about when you're approaching a database, how many alternative ways there are of saying the same thing within one database. And it really just shows to them in a visual way when you've got these huge long lists, and usually it's quite a small group that you're doing this with. Um, it just shows them that actually if they don't spend the time thinking about a strategy, thinking about all these alternatives at the very beginning, then they're going to potentially miss out on vital information when they go to the databases, or they might put their search terms in and completely discount a database thinking it has nothing for them when actually it's just a case of the, uh, the way they've phrased um, the question that they want to, to, uh, to research. So from this, I think I'm way over my two minutes, <laughs> but, uh, <yeah. laughs> but from this I would normally connect this then to taking them through how to take these various keywords and which ways to combine them, how to use parentheses to get lots of different ors in there and just save time when they, when they go into databases and demonstrate how it, how it all works and fits together. But it's just a very quick way of um, generating keywords and quite a visual way of showing the, the expanse of things out there. Okay, thank you.